See, the Breen could just wait for Brunson and then just foul him if he has to. Shot clock at six. Brunson against Patrick Williams. Drives inside, goes in, looks to the layup. Bank shot is good! It's good! With 4.6 remaining, Jalen Brunson with a huge bucket. Bulls are out of timeouts. So it's going to fall on Bridges' shoulders. He's on Levine. So you think we think Levine is going to... Oh, look at the subbing now. Harden Levine. Well, the time to do that in, in taking a chance of picking up a technical that would help decide this game is ridiculous. So Bridges has to, has to deny the three ball because you don't want to lose the game. You don't mind them tying the game, but you don't want to lose it with a shot. And what you don't want is a foul on before the inbounds pass and away from the play foul. Giddy looking, looking, Levine can't get it. Finds Kobe White. Shot blocked, but a foul behind the arc. Josh Hart fouling behind the arc. Three free throws, and the Knicks do not have a challenge. White with a chance to win it or give them the lead with 3.2 remaining. There's still time, and the Knicks have a timeout left. We, we love Hart. We guys say you got to have Hart. He's always playing 110%. But he's not playing smart right there, folks. Not playing smart. On the ball. Right. He's 6'10". Bridges 6'6". Brunson looking to get free. They want Brunson, Brunson gets it. Two seconds to go. Brunson turns, puts it up for the win. It's oh, off the rim. Looks like it was going to fall through. How could that ball not go down? He's tantalized Williams the last two times. Looked like it's three times. Look at that ball. And Hart, ironically, standing there, the culprit with that previous foul. Get in there. Brunson, you could tell he thought it was good. When he let it go, Josh Hart will be feeling it.